So if you're considering coming to this conference, uh, maybe be open to the experience of new learnings, new ecosystems, and new paradigms. We are on the verge of a transition. It will require massive engagement where we are all very, very humble for what the future can be. And for those of us who would like to contribute to that change and really don't like what no change in behavior looks like, engage. So I think it's so cool. You bring together two and a half thousand people from mostly different regions to discuss what does the future of energy mean? To be open to hearing new ideas, to learn from each other and engage in dialogue. So I love the energy at this conference. I think the founders and the organizers of this conference are taking too hard, really, that you need real conversations. So the fact that you have pretty awesome speakers lining up with trying to deliver insights or messages, but the space is also very conducive to dialogue. And I think that promotes a courageous outreach to say, hey, I don't understand this. Can you help me? Can you teach me? May I share my experience? And that's how we get forward. So I love the founder's uh, vision for this conference. I met um, Graham in uh, China, actually. And uh, when he said, I'm going to bring together unlikely partners, um, I would love for you to help shape the framework for how we talk about this. I said, yes. And I frankly have stepped up my personal game in general. I'm an innovator, a business developer, a market shaper. I do this because I am a lawyer today and I bring some insights in this market. Not, not by any means do I have the solutions or the full framework, but maybe by engagement I can contribute a little bit to get people to collaborate across borders. So my main message is we have to engage. This is a remarkable time where you can do great things and do really well economically. And since economies are really what drives growth and energy is one of the fuels into growth, we have to really take a step back to think about what we're doing. Progressive doesn't always mean every good idea is a good idea. Conservative doesn't always mean everything in the past was the right way. It's in the gray zone and we totally have to open up dialogues.